Hi there everyone, my name is Preetam and you are watching Technoholic. In this video, we will see how we can install Devika, an AI software engineer that is going to help us out in writing code. So without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, now here you can see I am in my computer screen and I already have opened Devika GitHub page. So first of all, what we'll do is when you download this code, so you can click here on code and you can download this zip package. So after you download this package, um, let me click on open folder. And I am quickly going to extract it and I have pasted it in desktop. Now, um, if you see the prerequisite of Devika, here you may require few software, for example, Ulama. There is one more um, known as Bun. So let me actually have a look on it. Bun. Yeah. So we need to install these both. So let's see how we can download these both. If you, especially in case if you are using Microsoft Windows. Um, so let's start with Olama because this one is easy. So let's click on download for window. And there we go. We can see it is getting downloaded. Now after getting downloaded, let's make a double click on it and install. And then you can see the installation process is pretty straight, guys. But not for Bun, guys. In order to install Bun, um, sure, we can see it is only available for Machine Tools, Linux, and WSL. Now, since I am using Windows here, so I need to install this WSL. So let's click here on WSL Windows, which will basically take us to this page. Um, and then not to worry, I'm going to provide you all these pages in the description of this one. What we need to do here is we simply need to type following command in PowerShell. So let's click here and type PowerShell, run it as administrator. And now just simply paste this code and hit enter. And then um, here you can see uh, Ubuntu is already installed in my particular case. But I will let you know what exactly will happen. Maybe I will also place the video here of how I installed it. So basically it will install Ubuntu in your system and then it will ask you to provide username and password. You need to provide that and in that way guys we will ever install WSL in our Windows. Now let me type here clear. Now here you can see I have made it full screen and let's install Bun now. So again, um, let's copy this command and paste it here by making right click and let's hit enter. And then here we can see it is asking us to have unzip in our system to install bun. So let's install unzip then. For that, you need to type following command which is sudo apt install unzip and now I'm going to enter my password. So this is the same password that you know we have set up while installing Windows subsystem for Linux. There we go, we have successfully installed unzip. Now again, the beauty of Linux is you need to press up arrow to get the same command that you have entered previously. Now let's hit enter. And there we go, we can see we have installed one in Microsoft Windows. Okay, so we have installed both prerequisite of Devika, which was installing Bun and then, um, you know, installing Olama. And then this is the last, I would say, um, last requirement or prerequisite. And it is also pretty easy, guys. Um, in our Windows, we need to type following script. Let's do that. Let's again go to PowerShell. Run it as administrator. And for those, uh, you know, when we run uh, these kind of scripts for first time in PowerShell, maybe PowerShell also can create uh, some kind of issues that writing or running script is disabled by default. So you need to enable that. And then I'm gonna also 
put how to enable a uh, running script in PowerShell in the description of this video. You can check that out and enable a running script inside your Windows. Now let me hit enter to install this tool. There we go. Let's wait for a while. And we can see everything is now installed. Now um, here we can also see that um, the following path is also being added to our path which is an environment variable so that it is accessible to any location. Now um, let me close Bun, which is already installed. WSS is also installed, Ulama is also installed and then um, I would say all the periods is installed. Okay, so now we already have downloaded Devika. And the next thing what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open the command prompt and then I'm going to visit the location. For that, let's click here on menu button and type CMD, run it as administrator. And now let me quickly locate Devika, which is in my desktop. Let's copy this path and type CD and then paste the path and hit enter. So we are in now Devika folder. So let me actually keep it aside and then um, so basically this command prompt is also kind of file explorer I would say or it is one of very old uh, operating system. So basically we are in same location here also we can see we are inside desktop Devika main here also we can see the path is same. Now um, let's see how, what is our next command. So the next command is to install all the requirements. Let me quickly copy this. And now paste it here. Now after pasting this command, let's hit enter. And there we go guys, here we can see. We have installed all the requirement of Devika. Now, what we need to do next is we need to visit this page and here we have got this file config.toml. Just open this file with notepad. So after you open this file with notepad, um, what we need to do here is um, we need to provide API keys of any of this platform. Let's say you want to use OpenAI or ChatGPT then uh, you can provide open AI keys here. So um, what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to open my um, I'm going to open open AI website open AI key and now I can go to open AI platform now here click on this open AI logo and API key and then here you need to click on create a new secret key and in this way guys we can create open AI key after creating that key you need to paste it here so simply paste your key here so I'm gonna delete this area and then I'm gonna paste my open AI key after that let's go back here so we have completed uh, this step and then we also have configured our key. Now the next step here is to run the Vika server. So let me copy this. Now what I'm gonna do is again, let me visit command prompt and run it as admin. Again, let's visit the same page, um, which is the following. Now um, let's run this Devika server. Let's hit enter. And there we go guys, here we can see. And one more prerequisite I forget to mention guys, um, since it is already installed in my system which is having python so just go to python.org and install python it is pretty easy guys python is available for everyone um you can click on welcome to python again i will also provide this link in the description of this video from there also you can visit there click on download and can install uh, python 
So here we can see the file. So in my case, I'm using Windows so I can download this window installer and then I will able to install it. Now let's again start a Windows subsystem for Linux, which is here. So let's click on Ubuntu. Now what we do is we need to reach to this directory, which is here. So let me copy this. And now let me type df here, which will basically list down all the directory, just like dir in Windows. And now um, we need to go inside this. Uh, this is my C drive. Let me type cd and then space and then I'm gonna copy this path which is slash mnt slash c. Let's hit enter and now again let's type cd and now I'm going to copy and paste this path which is inside c drive and let's hit enter and seems like it is creating some kind of issue. Okay so let me have a look again by typing df. And then um, here it shows me the same. So let me type it again once more. Let's see. Okay, so there we go. We are now in this Devika main folder. And as we can see here, the next command here is to go further inside this UI directory. So let's do that. Let's type here CD and then UI. And now we're going to type bun install as we can see here and now let's hit enter and there we go okay so now the next command here we have got is bun run dev let's hit enter and this should basically run the devika dev server and then here we can see um, how we can basically assess it and now let me visit this url which was our last step and there we go guys here we can see devika loading up in our system for the first time so i can click here on create a new project and then here i can give it a name for example you know no example is coming in my mind let me write test one now let's hit okay so this is the interface of devika and then here we have option to select model um, since we have configured for gpt i'm gonna select gpt and then here we have got this terminal so in this way guys we can install this open source devika in our system I hope guys you find this video helpful and informational. If yes, then do like and subscribe to Technoholic to see more such content related to productivity. And I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.